I see so many people. Some like me, some not so much. On one corner, two older gentlemen stand near a bar, sharing their notions on every kind of subject, from news to sport to whatever's the best kind of recliner. On another table, there's a girl with long black wavy hair, slowly leafing through some papers, very calmly trying to take to heart as much as she can from whatever's written in them. As I contemplate on all of this, I quickly start thinking, what would be the story in each of these strangers? What could they possibly share or have in common with myself? What got them in the same place at the same time? But suddenly, I hear from not too afar the sound of my name. Juan! I snapped and look over and see a woman in a green apron looking toward me with a small white carton cup in her hand and a heartwarming smile in her face. Here's your espresso macchiato, sir. Hope you have a wonderful time here. I return to my table and I take that sip of espresso. <laughs> Hands a moment of clarity, as though that bold yet sweet beverage had awakened my very soul. Coffee is one of those things that, like the arts, brings complete strangers from different countries, backgrounds and lifestyles to find common ground. Coffee is like the gateway to a better understanding of us as human beings, of us as part of a whole. Yes, we're all in our own little world, but at its core, it represents the diversity, the mosaic-like aspect of this environment. It begins with coffee, yes, but it is so much more than that. It's about connection, it's about warmth, it's about the human condition itself. Through these drawings, I manage, I hope, to express that even though we're different, we're not strangers. We share the same love for the brew. We feel part of the same family, of the same joy. We share the same experience, day by day, cup by cup. This is to you.